Welcome back, welcome back. Chris Starr is off yesterday, and today I'll be picking it up. Today we'll be talking about Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe was born on July 10th, 1943 in Richmond, Virginia. In 1940s, you wasn't really allowed to play cross base play. And what I mean by that is, as an African-American male, you wasn't allowed to play with white males. So this has some troubling times growing up, but this does not stop Arthur Ashe. In fact, he was so good, he played for UCLA tennis team and won both the singles and doubles NCAA title. Now, before he went pro, he actually decided to go to the U.S. Army for two years. But in 1968, he won the first U.S. Open. Now, U.S. National Championship, which is the same thing U.S. Open, originated from the 1800s. But that year, U.S. Open was a name officially changed to U.S. Open. And he was the first black man to do so. Then two years later, he won the Australian Open, which was huge in the tennis world. Then three years later, he beat Jimmy Connors in the single title at Wimbledon. Now, to this day, Ash remains the only African-American male to win Wimbledon, the Order U.S., and Australian Opens. Now, he was good off the, on the court, but he was actually even better off the court because he fought for visa travel to play in South America, challenging this systemic racism. He also marched on D.C. to protest the treatment of Haitian refugees, but he was ultimately arrested. Now, in the 1980s, he actually was forced to retire due to heart problems, and he was inducted into the Tennis Hall of Fame in 1985. Now, during his last couple of years, he actually learned that he had AIDS and he felt like it was contracted through the tainted blood through a transfusion heart operation. Now, because of this, Ash actually started his own organization that will help raise awareness about the disease so that you can get it at an early age. Now, ultimately, Arthur Ash died in 1993, February 6th in New York. During that same year, the president, President Clinton, gave him the Medal of Freedom after his death. So his wife had to accept the award. And the ESPN actually created an award, the Arthur Ashe Espy, which states, reflect the spirit of Arthur Ashe possessing, possessing strength in the face of adversity, courage in the face of peril, and the willingness to stand up for their beliefs, no matter what the cost. And this was a huge, huge thing for Arthur Ashe, even though he has passed on. And I'll leave you with a quote. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And I feel like we can all learn from Arthur Ashe, no matter if we're black, white, Hispanic, any race. Okay, I'll see you next time.